Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so I just bought this electrical desk, the Novi Gummy Ototo uh, Height Adjustable. And um, the instructions are ass. So I'm gonna try and uh, guide you through uh, the process of setting it up uh, so that perhaps um, well, I can help you. So the first step is obviously you get everything out uh, and then you wanna mount the table legs. So it's gonna be this piece here, plus the long piece over there. The four screws are gonna be uh, already uh, inside the leg. You just unscrew them, and then you put the, the leg part on top, and then you screw it back in. The Allen key that you get with it kinda sucks, so you can't really go in there that easily. So what I did, I used my own iFixit, um, Allen screwdriver and I did it that way for both legs and then I laid it all down there. Then the second one is going to be uh, point number two uh, which says that you have to loosen the screws. Uh, however, uh, if you look at it, there's going to be screws here and here, here and so on. But these are screws you don't want to mess with. These stay on. So what they actually meant is you have to loosen this one here this one here, one, two, three, four, and then four here again. So these ones with the Allen key, you're gonna, wait, out of focus. So you're gonna wanna loosen them. They're a little bit tight, at least for me, but then once you do that, uh, you can just slide them back and forth. So for the next part, they um, say to lay down on the table and leave about 15 centimeters between the end of the piece and the tabletop. So something like that. And uh, so you do it for both ends. Uh, you have to kind of eyeball the bar because it, it kind of slides back and forth and it could be like just a little bit over here and then like a long piece over here. So kind of check and see if uh, if it's kind of in the middle. And uh, they mention about 3A and 3B. The piece is like at the end. Uh, they say they should you should get rid of them for easier managing or something. But I don't know exactly what that means. So I'm not gonna do it for now. If it turns out to be necessary, I'll include it in the video. And of course, you just wanna go ahead and tighten them down again. Hmm. Next thing you want to do is set the two table legs upright uh, with the, you know, this part here pointing uh, toward the other leg. And I think it doesn't matter which one goes left and right. So you do that and then you're going to want to unscrew these four uh, screws here and um, and then you're gonna have to flip it around and put it over there and screw it back in. I'm gonna do that in a second. Okay, so um, basically what they mean is to get rid of this thing here, the flat pad, so that it's easier to mount on top. But to do that, you have to unscrew every single screw up there and therefore loosen up the thing again. So I don't think that's a good idea, however, uh, what you're gonna have to do as well is get rid of this one, two, and then three, four at the opposite end, because they're gonna go in here. Uh, so I'll un unscrew those as well. So there you go, it goes up like that. And then I'm gonna just have to put the screws back in here, there, and underneath for a total of 12 screws, I believe. So I'm gonna do just that. Next up, you're gonna wanna take these Unscrew this and this other screw, put it in there, and bolt it down. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do next. So yeah, the result would be this, firmly attached. Uh, these two screws were a little bit tight, I don't know why, like they wouldn't screw in very easily. Uh, probably because the, um, the hole was like bored a little bit angled to the right, but nothing this couldn't fix. Um, and then the next step is gonna be to wire things up. So I'm gonna take a look and then report back. I am at a loss as to what the 
uh, part six, AKA control box is, but I suppose that's the power supply. Like, I mean, this thing over here makes sense because it connects to the plug. So what I did was, well, connect the plug, connect the motor that's here on the right side for me uh, to the other cable. It can only go in one way, so you can't get it wrong. This is the handset. I suppose yes it is and um, I don't know where it's gonna go but I see that there's some tape that's actually coming off already weird um, and uh, it's gonna have to set sit somewhere I'm gonna move over to the next step now because this doesn't make sense to me all right so the next step is to take the uh, tabletop and flip this one upside down and then we're gonna screw it, screw it in. So um, I'm gonna try and, and put the tabletop on the ground, trying not to scratch it or whatsoever. Uh, and uh, I'll show you then. All right, so that's how I flipped it upside down. And the next step is gonna be for me to measure all around and make sure that it's centered and uh, that we still have about 15 centimeters from the end to the other end. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so uh, you wanna definitely make sure that you have 15 centimeters uh, on this side. And um, as you see, it's not exactly there, but that's cause there's like an indenta indentation there. But then when you measure from this side, I found that by using their uh, tabletop, it's about 11.5 centimeters from one side to uh, this edge over here. And I measure the same thing all around the corners, the four corners, and now I'm gonna move on, move on to the next step, which is probably gonna be to bolt them down. Let's see. So yeah, the next step is you take these screws, they, they come in, in this bag, uh, and you check that they are not gonna puncture through the whole table. As you see, this one goes through the exact length but if you have a different tabletop yeah you might want to make sure that they don't go through and pierce so i'm not sure how i'm going to do this because they're not pre-drilled so i'm going to see if i have to somehow or if i can just like hammer them down and then uh, just screw them in i'll take a look and report back turns out you don't need much pressure so i just kind of slammed the screw in a little bit and then i just started twisting and it just goes through. So I'm gonna do that for all of the places where I need to screw them in, and then I'm gonna tighten them down with the drill. All right, so now I get it. Um, I did uh, drive them through, so they're screwed in. Uh, there's actually one missing there, I need to do that. But the reason why they suggested you take away this one before you do the rest is because we have to uh, drive a couple screws here and here and you can't tax it so uh, honestly i still think that what i did is best because otherwise you would have to uh kind of uh, keep the right distance at the same like while you do the, all of the other things so what i'm going to do now that i have these uh, screwed all the way down i'm going to take away these covers and uh, drive through the uh, uh, table with the screws. All right, so I got them off and then I screwed them in. Everything went fine. And by the way, I didn't have to use the drill at all. They just screw in nice and easy. Um, now the other thing I noticed is that it feels like the top part is like a little bit twisted to the right side clockwise i don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks or but it kind of feels like that so i'm gonna see if i have to unscrew these four and readjust it or if it's just this way it is um, and then i move over uh, and go on to the next step all right, for your information, I was able to unscrew the four screws slightly and twist it a little bit, and now it looks a little bit better. I think that's all right.
same thing there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back, but before I do that, I just wanted you to take a look at this. So as you slide this one back and forth, you're gonna see it, you see it here, it's gonna disappear and reappear. So you can look at, at this side here, and it does the same thing eventually. So what you wanna do is make sure that both uh, these, I believe these two and these two are um, covering the bar and hopefully we can get the third one as well. So these two are the only ones that actually tighten down this bar here. There we go. The next part is going to be uh, taking this shaft and placing it like you'll see. There's only one way you can go in. But yeah, this side goes there. And then the other side goes there. And I believe you can just pull and drive it all the way there. So let me do that. All right, pretty easy. You just uh, unscrew these two real quick. You extend the two shafts or parts of the shaft. You put them all the way in there and in there and then you tighten them down again. Uh, I don't currently have a key to make sure that they're super tight, but uh, that's gonna do it for now. So the next part is you just take the the long piece that's usually all tightened back together uh, you have to loosen up these two screws and then you can extend it or contract it and it just goes on top pretty easily there's like a, a rail that connects here uh, so what I did as well was take the, the cable that goes to the uh, device here and instead of making it exit from here, which kind of sounded like the wrong way of doing it, I made it go through here inside and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, now I'm just gonna make sure that they extend to the same length, kind of, and then again, tighten them down. All right, uh, so the next step would be to screw this part in and uh, I would probably put it here but I don't know yet so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to flip the desk upside down in the right direction and um, and see how it's gonna sit and how it feels um, yeah bear with me all right, so the last step you want to do once you flip the table over is reset uh, your desk. So you're going to want to hold the down button, which is the second one here, and you're going to hold it until you see a reset on the display. So the table is going to lower to the minimum point, and then there we go, it resets, and it goes right back to that. So that's that's how you do it and then you can go all the way up up until 118 I believe and uh, yep that's that's your desk uh, eventually I'm gonna screw it in somewhere here I'm gonna try a few uh, positions out I guess with my desk and my chair and my computer and the side then but that's how you get the table uh, set up uh, the instructions are not super clear but uh, it takes a while, uh, but once you once you have it done, it's well, it works. Now we got me. Let's go. Thank you for watching. If that was helpful, um, please leave a leave a like. Um, if you have any comments, uh, questions, whatever, feel free to post them down below. And um, yeah, until next time. See you guys. Bye-bye.